Guys, CATL, they just sent me an email with some news which is absolutely blowing my mind. I thought that these batteries were years away, but CATL are saying, no, 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 no. For one, they told me I was wrong on something I said about their battery, the new Shenzhen battery. Not really wrong, but the details weren't quite correct. I'll tell you what those details were. Two, though, they said to me that um, their new battery is the highest energy density battery in the world, and it's already in semi-trucks in China. The energy density of this new battery would allow an EV to have 2,000 kilometers of range. I mean, literally, it really would. It is unbelievable. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. CATL mentioned to me that their, their new condenser battery has the highest energy density of any battery in history. And I mean, Elon Musk, he said, batteries need to be, they need to have 400 watts per kilo energy density approximately for you know commercial aircraft. Well, we've hit that number now, but CATL's new battery is much, much higher than that. And it's a real product. This is not some theoretical journal paper. You know, you guys know I share these these things with you numerous times just so you can see all the, the different innovations coming out. But a lot of them are just theoretical. But this new battery, it's already in trucks in China. That's what CHL said to me just a couple of days ago. Now, here's I want to share with you the email they've sent me so that you know exactly what's going on. Dear the Electric Viking, we're excited to share with you that CHL, uh, the Shenzhen battery actually has an energy density of 205 watts per kilogram. So it's slightly higher than what I said in my video where I talked about this new Shenzhen battery, which apparently will go into the new Tesla Model Y Juniper. They said, uh, well, I thought it had a, an energy density of 200 watts per kilo. They said it's actually 205. So not much different. This is the world's first LFP battery, lithium ion phosphate battery that achieves a range above 1000 kilometers with 4C super fast charging. So what exactly is 4C super fast charging? Charging speed in the real world of around 580 kilowatt. So it's actually recorded that charging speed. I think it was in a Geely electric car, might have been a Zika EV that they tested it with. Uh, there's a now a few of those cars. So insane charging. The other big advantage to this battery pack I mentioned is its performance in cold weather. There's almost no battery degradation at minus 20 degrees Celsius. CATL said through breakthroughs in materials and structure, the Shenzhen battery system's energy density actually surpasses 200 watts per kilo. As I reported, it hits 205 watts per kilo. So it's a little bit higher than BYD's new blade battery, which has an energy density of between 180 to 190 watts per kilo. They say that makes range over 1,000 kilometers reality. Aside from offering long range, Shenzhen Plus also charges very fast. It can deliver a 600 kilometer range in 10 minutes of charging. This is proven actually. There's been some um, videos I've seen from China showing this actually is true. Far surpassing the usual batteries available on the market and realizing a true super fast charging speed of one kilometer per second. CATL will create a closed loop ecosystem of super fast charging batteries plus network plus services. In addition to exceptional new batteries, CATL has also initiated the construction of the Shenzhen Superfast Charging Network to build the biggest superfast charging service platform in China. This year, CATL, though, successfully achieved the maiden flight of a ton class prototype equipped with a CATL condensed battery. So what exactly is a ton class prototype? It is a commercial airliner, as in a 747. Literally, the 747. We've been waiting for this now for decades. I've been talking about it on the channel now for a very long time. And yeah, guys, it's finally here. Uh, passenger commercial airliners with batteries. Now, CHL actually revealed this on their channel, but um, they don't really have that many subscribers. You should subscribe to CHL, by the way. They have about 18,000 views on this video. This is probably the most insane thing We've in years that's happened globally when it comes to batteries, when it comes to really any kind of technology. So the condensed battery, how is it capable of actually um, enabling a commercial airliner to fly a long distance? Because it is. Well, the energy density is staggering. The energy density, like I said, is the highest of any battery. It is 500 watts per kilogram. Now you can really see here, guys, why CHL isn't really that impressed by solid state batteries because this is higher. This energy density is higher than solid state batteries, which are still under development. 
Um, CATL said this, it's a 70 or 80% increase over current NCM or nickel cobalt manganese batteries. We are focused on the aviation applications for condensed batteries. And as production scales up, we can reduce the cost and use the battery in cars too. Now, CATL don't make these comments and not follow through. Everything CATL does, they have a remarkable ability to follow through on their promises. I think more so than maybe any other company I've ever, ever heard of. So if CATL is saying that they will reduce the cost, scale up production, and then put these batteries in cars, 500 watts per kilogram. I mean, literally, if you had, say, a 100 kilowatt hour battery in something like a Tesla Model 3, with 500 watts per kilogram energy density, that's about double the energy density of today's Tesla's batteries, probably around about a thousand miles of range. That's insane. That's 1,600 kilometers. Battery technology breakthroughs enable business model innovation, said CHL, and therefore a sustainable EV transition with multiple applications. In the vehicle to grid scenario, an EV battery can also be a distributed mobile energy storage unit, enabling EV owners to make a profit by charging during off-peak hours and selling electricity to, to power the grid during peak hours. You do not need to drive your car and the car will make money for you, says CATL, but it requires longer life cycles for the batteries. To meet this demand, we have developed battery technology for a cycle life of 18,000 cycles. 18,000 cycles would really give you a theoretical battery life of about 50 years, I mean, would it really last that long? I've got no idea, but um, wow, the future is here. So we have three incredible technologies, a battery with 18,000 cycles um, charging life. That's the longest charging battery, the longest life battery in human history that I've ever heard of, other than you know things like water batteries or um, you know huge lakes that kind of act as a battery. Uh, then we have, of course, the Shenzhen battery, the Shenzhen Plus, 205 watts per kilogram energy density, which is the highest LFP energy density ever. Uh, insanely fast charging, the fastest charging we've ever seen commercially available on any electric car. And then we have the condense, the condenser battery with 500 watts per kilogram energy density, the highest in history. If CATL already had the condenser battery, and you're one of their rivals, I genuinely feel sorry for you because your company is pretty much finished. Honestly, I mean, what are you going to do, right? You're developing solid state batteries. You spend hundreds of millions, maybe billions of automotive of, of money from some of these automotive companies like Volkswagen Group, BMW. They've all been, been investing in solid state battery technology. The biggest battery company in the world who essentially have a monopoly, they own 40% of the global battery market, come along and they reveal this. And it, they say it's already in airliners, commercial airliners. And we're going to put it in cars, by the way. What do you do? I mean, how do you compete with that? My my friends, this is the future and it is so exciting. Some people say I'm getting overexcited, but come on, can you blame me? 500 watts per kilogram. This is the biggest battery company in the world. This is legitimate. This is not a study. This is not some sort of pilot test. This is the real thing. The future just smacked us in the face real, real hard. And I, for one, I'm pretty happy to get smacked in the face. Thanks for watching.